Good afternoon, everybody. It's your old buddy Jim. I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, just talked to, uh, hope she don't mind. I just got off the phone with Angry Homesteader. Always nice to talk to her. Such a nice lady. So, uh, hope y'all are doing good this week. And I am. It's not quite as hot. Actually, got out and mowed this jungle yesterday. So, didn't get too, too hot on me. So it looks a lot better when I can keep it mowed. Talked to my landlord yesterday, bless his heart. He uh, put in a new heat pump for me last week. And while I was out mowing yesterday, I came in the kitchen was flooded. Water heater had let go. So I had to get a new water heater. So he was on top of it. I called him about 2.30. And we, he came over and we fooled with it and decided he went and got a new one and he installed it. I just helped him wall it around and by the time I went to work, I had a new water heater. So that's good. So hopefully nothing else breaks here for a while. Uh, my potatoes need water. I'll take care of that in the morning when I get home from work. But I've uh, been seeing reports where NATO now has 300,000 troops on a high alert or high state of alert pretty much I guess that means they're ready to go as soon as they get to call so things aren't de-escalating I know you don't see that on the lamestream media anymore they've moved on from Putin and the UKR country because uh, UKR isn't winning they're just gobbling up all them billions of dollars we sit over there and taking them out about as soon as they hit the ground I would imagine beagle over and barking at me so you better get ready it is going to affect the food supply if they can't ship any grain and fertilizer and stuff and of course everybody knows that's old news about the 10,000 cows dying overnight in Kansas uh, that don't pass the smell test with me either they get heat in Kansas and the Midwest all the time why didn't anything else die why didn't the dogs die or anything else the chickens goats wanted anything else so that just don't smell right to me so I hope you're putting back food that you can uh, I've talked to my landlord I gave one of my IBC totes away to a buddy of mine that helped me move and he said I can put the other one over here so I'll have 275 gallons extra water just in case things go bad is that enough probably not but it'll be a, it'll help so maybe I'll get on the marketplace and find another one. Uh, I'm going to do a little experiment with my solar system and see how long I'm going to deplete the, the battery on it and see how long one solar panel takes to charge it up. As you can see, I don't have any trees here. So shouldn't have any problem getting plenty of sunshine on it. There's my old water heater under the box. I guess I need to drag my trash can around here eventually. But I'm still working. I uh, have a couple of days off this weekend, so. Uh, and then work next week. Some good holiday pay for the 4th of July where I switch crews, where we're really short-handed. Got people out. So not a bad week at work. It's not been real busy, so that can change on a daily basis some days we run from the time we get there to the time we leave some days we don't hardly do anything so let me know how your garden's doing I'm going up to check my my green beans and my squash and my zucchini Sunday we'll string the green beans up I hope and check my tomato plants at my sister she said they're looking real good my buddy at work is already getting cucumbers and squash and stuff so he brought a big bunch in today. So this morning at work, people was grabbing cucumbers. I got about three little ones, but I love cucumbers, but I really can't eat them a whole lot because they give me heartburn really bad. My favorite vegetable out of the garden, besides green beans, and I can't hardly eat them. Uh, bananas my favorite fruit, and they give me heartburn too. So I told somebody that's just a good Lord tell me I don't need to eat that healthy. But, um, trying to get back in a sort of an exercise routine. I'm walking, uh, trying to do some push-ups. So this fall, uh, the 
company I work for has some gyms, so today I have the kids when I'm off. I on going down to the one of their gyms and trying to hit the weights again. Not going to get go real heavy because I am getting a little age on me. So that's a good part of preparedness too. I mean, if something were to happen, everything you take for granted being real easy is going to become real hard. So uh, physical fitness, and I know I'm not going to be like I used to be running 10K road races and stuff like that. But. I need to get rid of some weight. About 20 pounds would be wonderful. So I am trying. I ate, actually had salad at work last night. So instead of uh, my usual fare, cheeseburger and fries or a bologna sandwich and chips. So been eating a lot of sandwiches at work here lately. So trying to cut back on that because I figure everything I can cut out of the budget, I can put toward preps or putting back to have a little extra money. Because uh, inflation is going to continue to rise. Economy isn't looking good. I don't care what they say on TV. The economy's in the crapper. And I remember in 2008 when I worked over the hill there, we got unpaid days off. I don't know if that's going to start again, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me. So that's it for today. Uh, i got to go in here and fix me something to eat before going to work. Probably an egg sandwich. So everybody have a great rest of your week. And I think I will put this video up today, why not? So everybody take care, keep on prepping, and uh, let me know what y'all think about uh, NATO releasing now that they have 3,000 troops on a high state of readiness. I think that's a ominous sign that we might be marching toward WW3, that the situation in Europe is gonna continue to escalate and uh, I'm not sure what China's plans are, but they've been talking about the one China policy for years, and I think it's just a matter of time before they go after Taiwan. But I'm not an expert. I'm just a simple prehistoric caveman prepper. So that's it for today, folks. Uh, adios, amigos.